Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you and welcome back to the channel where today you join me in the sweltering heat of Texas to visit the home of Hennessy and go for a drive in this Jeep behind me. Now do not be confused, this is no ordinary Jeep. This is Hennessy's Trackhawk HPE 1000 and quite literally this SUV has over 1000 horsepower. Let's take a walk around to talk about the modifications that Hennessy have made to the car and then right here on the drag strip let's go for a drive to experience what this is going to feel like. The car rolls out of the factory already crazy and I have a feeling it is now going to be a bit of a lunacy machine. So let's get started and check it out. Let's get started with some information about the Trackhawk. So it comes from Jeep, who are part of FCA, the Fiat Chrysler Automobile Group, alongside Dodge. So effectively, the engine in this car is the same one that you find in the Hellcat, based on the Dodge Challenger and Charger. The difference is that those are tyre-smoking rear-wheel drive machines, where, of course, this has permanent all-wheel drive. The engine is a 6.2-litre supercharged V8, and in stock form, is already making 707 brakes horsepower and 645 pounds foot of torque. The metric number is 717 PS and 875 Newton meters and with that all-wheel drive system that already gets you 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. The car starts at $87,000 so an optioned up car is actually only about $100,000 and here you can bring it to Hennessy and transform it into a number of different configurations including this the HPE 1000. So this car we're looking at now makes 1,012 brake horsepower and 969 pounds foot. That's 1,026 PS and 1,314 Newton meters. Those numbers are ridiculous beyond belief. They can do 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.7 seconds and a quarter mile in only 10.7. Those are numbers that you would more normally find on true thoroughbred supercars, not a large-scale family SUV. It's fitted with the likes of Brembo brakes, Bilstein suspension, lots of technologies at play, lots of technologies to do with racing inspiration. Of course, there are only a few subtle uh, designations of what it has. The HP 1000 powered by Hennessy badge worn there on the side. You have the Grand Cherokee supercharged logo on the sides and, of course, the Hennessy badge at the back. But this thing is a monster. So let's come, just take a step inside, have a look at the interior and get it fired up so you can hear a bit of this as well, because honestly, it is ridiculous. Foot on the brake, start button right here. Into life. It is old school raw V8. Literally just roars away. We've got an eight speed automatic gearbox, but let's come and have a quick look under the bonnet as well. We've got the lever just down here, but come round and take a look at this power plant and what Hennessy have done to it. Open this up and you have got a four and a half litre supercharger with 14 PSI of boost. It's a crazy thing actually to just look at, bulging high above the engine. And that is what is making this literally a machine for pure craziness. So let me shut this back down because I think I should be taking this car for a drive to experience the craziness firsthand and what it is capable of right here. So let's get started and take it out. I tell you what, it's nice to be in some air conditioning for a second. It is absolutely boiling here in Texas today. So, into drive, eight speed auto. Let's spin this around and get a feel for it. We're just in the normal automatic driving mode. We've got five different driving modes, select track to choose between them. And I'm just gonna take this easy and warm myself into it to get a feel for what we have here. So, gentle acceleration. Okay, goodness me. The noise. I'm just feathering the throttle. Barely any press at all here. What are we doing? So let's pop it into sport mode. Gearbox into sport as well, where it will hold the shift. So the paddles are actually really high. I don't think I've probably ever driven a Jeep before. I listen to that shift. Wow, what a sound. Yeah, this is probably the first time I've ever driven a Jeep on the channel. And it is no ordinary Jeep. This literally has more power than a Veyron. More power than a Bugatti Veyron. 
goodness me. That's sort of become my go-to phrase for experiencing immense power. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you don't expect, and obviously the weight of the car is huge. I think it's about five and a half thousand pounds, so that probably comes in at what, two and a half thousand kilos or thereabouts? It pitches up at the front when you do give it a press of the throttle, but then, Oh, the shift noise is mega. This is sport mode. I haven't even gone into track yet. Up to the red line. Wow. We've got the six pot Brembo's for the braking, which I guess you need with this weight. So let's go full on. Let's do a launch. I've been instructed what I need to do. Let's just bring it to a stop and experiment with this. So. We need to put it into race mode, into track mode, come to a standstill, hold the brake with the left foot, give it about 1500 revs, and then go. Traction control is turned off. Here we go, give it some more revs. And three, two, one, go. Oh my good lord! What is happening? Shifts are even sharper now. Ha! This is hilarious. I knew it would be. I knew it was going to be a funny thing to drive. Just insanity in every possible way. And it really and truly is. The shifts are mega. The sound, it must be incredibly loud outside. I'm having an absolute ball right now. I knew it would be funny. Oh, it just kicks into the next gear takes off, absolutely takes off. So let's just in fourth gear, 2,000 uh, 2, revs, 2,500 revs, you put down in fourth gear, so much torque. It has no problems pulling away in any circumstances at all. I'm, I'm a bit amazed by this, over the little bump. What am I driving? The noise as well, the noise of that supercharger up front firm on the brakes. This is Hennessy's private track, so we can do whatever we want, which is wonderful. <laughs> what, what, what else can I tell you? Of course, you feel a lot of body roll going around the corner here, a lot of that, but then it's a pretty tall, heavy car, just accelerating away. I think top speed of this is about 180 miles per hour. 180, just about 300 kilometers per hour almost. Oh, early shift. It is such a cool sound. Okay, okay, let's just, let's just think about this for a second. I'm driving a Jeep with more power than a Bugatti. I mean, less power than the Chiron, to be fair. That now has about 1500 horsepower, but still. <laughs> Let's just put it back into drive, go into auto, you've got tow mode and snow mode the other way. Neither would be very appropriate right now, we're not towing. Although you could tow something pretty big and heavy behind you. I read on the website, £7,200 you can tow behind this, so it could be the perfect car for towing around a supercar and a trailer, as I'm sure Hennessy do with various of their different projects. I just had a look inside the workshop at some of the things they've got going on, but oh my god, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy in every way. I've driven some pretty insane stuff, but I'm not gonna forget this one in a hurry just because it's an experience. It's a Jeep SUV. Guys, it's a Jeep SUV. Why, why does it do this? Handling, not necessarily the best, honestly, but then that is not what this is for. This is for going very, very quick in a straight line. And I think it is without doubt that if you want a hyper SUV, this is it. This is a hyper SUV. Probably the only hyper SUV ever. I'm not sure there would ever be another one. Man, honestly, I know I've gone around here a few times now. I'm just having an amazing time with this. It's so hilarious. So hilarious. Let's do it. Let's do another launch. Let's just do this. Back into track mode then. And then, here we go then. So, rev it up. And go! Just 
wow. Just absolute wow. Honestly, I, I don't really know what else to say. I just have a massive smile on my face. The noises, the feel, the sheer ferocity of the acceleration. They did a video where they had three of these side by side. So the stock track hawk with 707 brake, then the HPE 850, so the 850 horsepower, and one of these. And it was really interesting to see the cars splitting out and just how fast this is and see the results of that work that makes it so quick. It's a perfect machine to drive around here. All right, I've stopped to take this in for a moment. I'm having too much fun blasting it around, but just take a listen to the noise of this exhaust system. It's so epic. So here on the dashboard, you've got a digital rev counter, the speedo in the center, there's an analog speedo to the left, your usual gauges over to the right. I do find it odd using these shift paddles. They're only the top half. They don't continue down the back at all, if I can just show you on this side. So you have to almost use your index finger and try and search for them. But on the steering wheel, you've got a number of controls. We'll just have a quick look around the interior. We've got some carbon fiber inlays, which are super nice against the black completely dark interior, apart from the seat belts. The seat belts are those dark maroon red. So seats themselves, supportive, very bulky, large statement pieces, I suppose, but you've got nice side bolsters, which you absolutely need if you're going around corners in the way that this car can go around corners. Here in the center, you've got the option to go through your different drive modes. Um, you can bring up some of the details and even configure here. So you've got five standard modes in the select track, plus one that you can configure exactly how you want it in terms of the different systems. Obviously, we've got a touchscreen interface to go through uh, various different bits and pieces, depending what you would like to have loaded up on here. No phone connected, obviously, at the moment but that all works pretty well to be honest quite responsive nice now how do we get to the next page oh, i see it's quite responsive a small little wait for bits and pieces to happen there gear shift goes left to go into the sport mode we've got a launch button here but we didn't really need the launch button because this thing's so powerful it would be a little bit redundant and then this you turn to the side just to go through the different drive modes you can see we get a little icon there to show which mode we're in as well as the uh, image around the top changing depending on the different setup so now we have track mode at the far left. In terms of storage, obviously big car, lots of space, big armrest holder, uh, sound system, door pockets, usual big glove box, everything you kind of expect a car like this to have um, going on and available around it. And if I just jump out for a second, show you uh, inside the back. Oh, listen to that grumble as you step out. Just listen to this. What a noise, what a verbal. Sounds so cool. In the back, plenty of space for the kids as well, you know. <laughs> Loads of room back back there. Controls as well in the rear. Same kind of finish fit as the front. And then the boots too. Oh no, that's down there. To open the boot. Powered tailgate. This is a practical car, you know. Loads of room. Seats fold down, 60-40 rear seats. Underfloor space for a spare wheel. Take that out. Obviously that would be weight. Nobody wants that in the back of the car. But you can, yeah, button here to close it back down shut itself back down so this is a machine for pure smiles giggles lunacy entertainment this ridiculousness honestly 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 what a hoot to drive i have enjoyed this an awful awful lot I didn't really know what I was going to be in for driving it. This isn't the kind of thing I normally film. Like I said, first time I've probably ever filmed a Jeep on my channel here at all. Not just any Jeep though. The Hennessy HPE 1000 with more power than a Veyron. How does that happen? How does this thing make sense? Anyway, it is a big thanks to John and the team here for the opportunity to come by, take a look around, go for a drive in this, experience what they've got going on here. And hopefully in the future, I'm going to be back for plenty more with them as well. For now though, I'll say goodbye to the most ridiculous car I have driven any time recently. So thank you very much as always for watching guys. That is it for now though. I will see you again very, very soon. Cheers.